Hey guys, it's Fizz13 here from the Fozzy Show, and today we're talking about um, some gaming community stuff, basically, uh, for the PS3. And if you haven't heard, basically, um, a security exploit uh, for the PlayStation 3 by GeoHot, which is uh, the iPhone hacker um, who found the iPhone. Um, jailbreak exploit and has been releasing jailbreaks for the iPhone and iPod Touch so he's basically uh, went out and found the security exploit for the PlayStation 3 and basically this is affecting the Call of Duty series because of their mass number of players and so far it's been affecting Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 um, some people even say it's uh, affecting World at War um, so basically the past three Call of Duty titles are being affected by this and this is basically for multiplayer only and it's advised that you don't play the multiplayer for those three games as of this time as the hackers can basically do anything to your online account that they want. They could reset your account to level 1 with nothing on it whatsoever. They can make you level 70, 10th prestige in Modern Warfare 2. Anything they want they can do to your account and they can change the games and everything like that <clears throat> and this is kind of um, like the PS3 calculator hack where the PS3 is hacked by a calculator um, I believe it was a graphing calculator that could run some JavaScript and things but basically a calculator could hack the PS3 and now hackers have done basically everything and found this huge exploit in security of the PS3 and Activision and Infinity Ward say they can't do anything about it um, because the games rely on the security of the encryption on the platforms that they're played on. Therefore, updates to the game through patches will not resolve the problem completely unless the security exploit itself is resolved on the platform. However, that doesn't mean that they are not going to look into every option available to them. And that was said by the community manager Robert Bowling. And basically, I some people say that it's a scapegoat to the fact that Infinity War has been doing any patches about hackers because they don't have enough money. Now they're saying that this is the problem, um, but I believe this actually is the problem because um, it's not like the older hacks that have been on Xbox or anything. The ten prestige lobbies, those make you go up. But no one has ever heard before of this about going down EXP. Because um, basically, going up EXP, um, say you have a tank of water, and you can just basically add any water to it, and the game won't know the difference. But if you take the water away from the game, the game is going to know something is missing, and it's going to be wondering why it's not there anymore. That's kind of like. Uh, you're eating, uh, another analogy is like you're eating a little buffet and you gain 10 pounds but then you just sleep and then you lose 20 pounds that you're gonna know something is wrong and you're wanna go and get it checked out or you're just gonna be like oh yeah I, I'm totally good because I just lost 20 pounds for no reason but that that's actually kinda bad I believe it's kinda like that so you just lost 20 pounds for no reason you're, you're gonna know something is wrong and it's a lot harder to do that than to gain 10 pounds by doing something like eating at a buffet so I actually believe them when they say that uh, there's nothing they can do at this time until Sony gets the exploit fixed and uh, some bloggers have been saying that Black Ops multiplayer servers are going to be shut down because of the security exploit, Activision doesn't want them to get into other software files and etc. In Black Ops, which is right now probably their best selling, the, actually it is the best selling game and has probably the most amount of people playing it right now. Um, but for Xbox users, this has nothing to do with you. You're all good to go. Um, I know Microsoft does a pretty good job of getting new patches out pretty quickly about hacks and etc. And um, 
so far I think they've been doing a pretty go good job about banning hackers and uh, banning their entire console so they can't even get online anymore and um, there is no actual way to fix that there, there have been myths on how to fix it but you can't really fix it unless you say replace your entire motherboard um, from another Xbox or something like that uh, so Microsoft's been doing a good job uh, Sony needs to step up the game a little bit um, because if some of you know the PS3 was hacked by a simple graphing calculator um, it wasn't even connected to a PC or anything everything was just done simply on the calculator itself it had a little micro USB to USB plug and um, you'd simply just plug it in and you'd open up um, one of the apps inside the calculator itself and run some scripts or something and you basically hack your PS3 somehow I'm not exactly sure how that worked out uh, but it was done with the calculator and uh, now a iPhone, a well-known iPhone hacker Geohot went into the PS3, did the same thing from his computer released the codes online to anyone who wanted it and basically um, <coughs> it's affecting it's spreading like a wildfire and that just basically means that Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4 and World at War have no multiplayer whatsoever. Um, I mean, there is multiplayer where you can go and do the system link on your local air network and split screen and things, but that's just not the exact same experience as actually going online to PlayStation Network and going into matchmaking and shooting other people. Um, I do believe private matches are still okay unless the hacker joins in, but then you'd have to be on your friends list or something unless the security expert lets him join into any game he wants. Um, so I just stay off multiplayer and all for PlayStation Network multiplayer and all for World at War, Call of Duty 4, and Modern Warfare 2. Um, so I will, uh, I'll keep you guys posted on this. Um, this is 5.13, signing off. Until next time.